There are always many ways to accomplish a task in SketchUp, which gives you the freedom to work in a way that's comfortable to you. We're going to create this simple chair, but show you two possible ways to approach this task. Then, show you one final more advanced method. Let's call this first method subtractive, as we'll start with a large block and carve away shapes to achieve the chair. To give you a general idea, we've sped up the process here before we go into the individual steps. Now that you've seen it happen, it's time to try it yourself. We'll take you step by step and encourage you to work along in SketchUp. Simply pause, start, and rewind the video as necessary to follow along. Start by drawing a rectangle and giving it an exact size. Type in 18 inches, comma, 18 inches, or some similar dimensions and hit the Enter key. Zoom in and orbit to see the rectangle, then use push-pull and type in 4 feet and hit enter. For the rest of this example, we won't worry about being completely accurate, but you can if you'd like. Now use the line tool to draw a line down from this edge, and then over. Remember to watch your inferences, down in the blue axis and over in the red axis. Now select the rectangle tool. But before drawing a rectangle, hover for two seconds over the point. Now when you start a rectangle on the lower edge, SketchUp will tell you when you're lined up with the point above. Inferences are great. Now draw your rectangle to some point that looks right for the profile of your chair. If you're having trouble with a tool, say you started this rectangle and realized it isn't on the edge, just tap the Escape key to cancel any tool at any time and start again. If you already finished the tool and it's wrong, you can also go to the Edit menu and choose Undo. We're ready to start shaping the chair using Push-Pull. Push these surfaces until they meet the back surfaces to cut the shapes away. To cut out the individual legs, orbit under the chair and use the Rectangle tool to draw two rectangles that can then be pushed back to cut away and reveal the chair legs. It doesn't matter that the rectangles didn't match up, as we can use inferring with push-pull to line the chair legs up with each other. The final step is to cut away the arc at the top. Use the arc tool, click on one edge, then the opposite edge, then you can pull the arc up. Remember not to cross over edges, though. Now push-pull this surface back to cut it away, and we're done. The next method we'll call additive, as we'll create the pieces of the chair in sequence. You can see from the quick video that we simply create the chair seat to start, and add the legs and back from there. As before, draw a rectangle and type in the size you want for a chair seat. I'll use 18 by 18 inches for a starting point. Pull the rectangle up into the seat, then draw another rectangle from the back corner. Pull this up for the chair back. Draw the arc across the top and push it back to cut it away. Orbit to view the bottom side and let's introduce a new tool to help create the legs. This is the tape measure tool. One of the functions of the tape measure tool is to create construction guides. Click on an edge and pull away to see the dotted edge. Type in 2 inches and hit the Enter key to give us a guide 2 inches from the edge. Now repeat this process for each of the other edges. When finished, use the rectangle tool which snaps easily to the guides, making all our legs the same size. After drawing the four rectangles, pull them out and use inferring to make them all the same length. You can also use inferring to line up the back. 
Use the eraser tool to erase the construction guides and we're done. This final chair we will create is not for you to follow along with. This example should serve as a teaser to encourage you to learn more about SketchUp and introduce some other ideas for you to look forward to. As you learn more about SketchUp, you'll find there are always many ways to work even more quickly and efficiently. We'll make this chair more detailed than the last two. I'll start by creating the chair seat, rounding in the back end with arc and push pull, and then I'll group this into one object. Now looking underneath, I'll draw one rectangle, select it, and turn it into a component, calling it chair leg. I can then easily copy this rectangle around, and when I open this component to work on it, pulling the leg down pulls all the legs down. You see, any copies of a component share attributes, so no matter how many copies there are, you only need to change one component to change them all. Let's work on the upper chair and use this idea of components again. I'll create one circle, pull it up, and make it a component. Then create a quick array using the Rotate tool. Now I can easily adjust the height as needed, or add detail as well, to all of the chair posts at the same time. Another great tool to explore is the Offset tool. I can use this tool to create a curved shape for the chair back. And after drawing all the edges to create a closed loop, I'll select the shape and copy it upward then pull it into a chair back. Sometimes it's just easier to create a shape based on other geometry, then move it to where it's needed. I can erase the original shape now. A few adjustments, and this chair is coming together. Just for fun, let's introduce one more tool. Let's bevel this chair seat with the Follow Me tool. Draw a shape and use the Follow Me tool to pull that shape around the whole chair seat. We can use this tool as well on the legs. I'll draw a profile to make the legs more interesting. Then use the Follow Me tool to pull the shape around the leg. So there you have it. You know the basics of SketchUp and have even had a look at some of the next tools you might explore. Make sure to practice the basics you've learned, then look at more videos or other help documentation to learn more about SketchUp.